I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on limits, continuity, and derivatives. The question here is sketch a graph for a function with the following properties. Limit of the function is equal to 3 when x approaches 1. Limit of the function when x approaches 1 is not equal to the value of the function at 1. Derivative of the function at x equals to minus 4 is minus 3. The function is continuous on the interval x less than 1. Limit when f of x approaches when x approaches infinity is equal to 1. And the derivative of the function at minus 2 is not defined. So let's try to understand all these conditions. The very first one says that the limit of the function at x equals to 1 is 3 and the second one says that it is not equal to value of the function, correct? So these two properties when combined suggest that there is a hole at x equals to 1, correct? That's what it suggests. And limit is 3 that means we are approaching the position of the hole is at 1 3 right but the value of the function at 1 is something else right so that means value of the function at 1 is not equal to 3 right it could be anything but 3 the third condition here is the derivative that means the slope right of the function at minus 4 is minus 3 right so <clears throat> let's try to sketch this from the conditions given to us so uh, let us say that and this is one for us okay let me make a graph paper that'd be better So normally you'll be given a good graph paper to sketch, but we'll make a rough sketch here. Okay. Fine. So what is given to us in the third condition is that the slope at minus 4 is minus 3. So this is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. The slope is minus 4. So it's kind of coming downwards, right? So the slope is kind of like this in this area. And then we have that limit of the function as x approaches positive infinity is 1. That means we have a horizontal asymptote, right? So, so when you're approaching here, it is 1. So uh, you could approach from the positive side. And the derivative at 2, minus 2 is not defined. So here it is not defined. That means we could have a cusp or corner at minus 2. Does it make sense to you? Okay. So that is how the function could be, right? So now, once again, on this side, we know we have to approach. We could approach from bottom or from top either way, right? On the left side, we are given two conditions at, at 2. It is not defined. So we are expecting a corner or a cusp here. And on this side, we have the condition that the slope is negative, right? So slope is negative in this direction. So our graph could be kind of like this. You see that? That could be the graph. So that means at minus 4, this particular slope here is, it doesn't look like, but this particular slope we'll say is equal to minus 3. You get the idea, right? So it's a rough sketch. So we are assuming that this slope is minus 3. So it's a kind of like this. Now, at 1, 
we have the function approaching three. That means one, two, three. So at one, we are approaching three. So that is the point at one. Clear? So we could go from here to this place. Let's select this. Perfect. And then after 3, so there is a discontinuity, function is continuous on the left side of 1, is it clear? And now we have to approach 1, horizontal asymptote, so it could go like this. Does make sense to you. So this point here will be 3 for us. So we are approaching 3. Now it also says that the value of the function is not equal to this so we could give some value at this point let's say we give a value here so at one the value could be five for example we have a hole at one and as x approaches positive infinity the function approaches one at two minus two cusp that means the derivative is not defined and the derivative at minus 4, it should be steeper, will give you a slope of minus 3. Does make sense to you. So that is how we are going to sketch the function. So that becomes our function. Now let me also sketch an alternate solution to this with a corner, right, as I was saying. So I'll make a rough sketch here in which we'll consider similar conditions, except for, I'll make a corner here, right? So, so basically at minus two, we'll make a corner like an absolute function. Then we have this value, which is add one and three. Then we have a function which is approaching one as X approaches a large value, right? So this is one and on this side, we could have uh, something like this, correct, where there could be a point, this is minus 2, right? So at minus 4, we could have a point which is, uh, let us say 6, right? So at minus 4, if I have 6, in that case, the slope of this line is going to be negative 1, right? 6 divided by 2, right, coming downwards will be negative 1. So that could be a much better graph for the given condition, right? So I hope that makes sense. So some of you can adopt this graph for the given conditions. It is your wish. You can place some point somewhere here as the value. Let's say we call this as 1, 4, right? So that becomes the value of the function at 1. Perfect. The condition basically is that the function is continuous when less than 1. After 1, it doesn't say much, right? So therefore, you may or you may not place this point. So that is an option. So I hope this alternate graph is also absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.